Hi, and welcome to the Hypertuino and MakerBit Workshop. I'm Chris Torrance. Today, I want to show you how to build the sample volcano project within your MakerBit kit. To assemble the sample volcano kit, you'll need the following items. The maker bit itself, along with the micro bit, a nine volt battery, the volcano project, which is two pieces of card stock, a blue hole making tool, five backings for the five touch points, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, the rainbow cable with the red LEDs, and the rainbow cable with the gray block connector. Begin making the model by cutting along the dashed lines at the bottom of the volcano project. Then fold the model into thirds so that it'll stand up properly. Use the blue stick to punch holes for the LEDs here, here, and here. Expand the holes by pushing the blue stick all the way through. Now take your five touch points and poke them through the five locations on the card for the main vent, secondary vent, crater, the video, and finally the Plinian eruption. Carefully turn the card over and use the backings to secure the touch points. Now let's go ahead and we'll glue our volcano project down. Now let's go ahead and add the LEDs and the touch points. Turn them all around and starting with the red brown LED, push the LED into the card at the spot labeled L5. Only push it in up to the lip. Don't push it all the way through the card. Then we'll have black white in L6 and finally we'll end up with purple gray in L7. Once you have the LEDs in, you can go ahead and put the touch points in. Start with T5, which is the red wire, and push it in just until it stops at the backing. T6 is the brown. And while you're putting these in, feel free to split the cable just to make it a little bit easier to reach some of the longer ones. Finally, you'll end up with T9 over here in the gray touch point. Let's go ahead now and try it out. Begin by peeling the backing off of the foam tape and place this on the back of your maker bit to avoid scratching any surfaces. If your micro bit isn't already attached, go ahead and plug that in now and be sure to do it so that the LEDs are facing up. Nothing bad will happen if you do it the other way, but it won't work. Finally, let's go ahead and plug in our cables. The black block connector goes into the first black connector on the board and the gray block connector goes into the white connector on the board. Last but not least, let's plug in our 9 volt battery into the board. And when we do that, you'll see that the LEDs light up indicating that everything is working properly. And now, when I touch on one of the touch points, then the LED should light up for the main vent, the secondary vent, and the crater. So what's going on? The MakerBit has a program that's running continuously and watching for all of these touch points. When it sees a touch on one of these, it goes ahead and lights up the appropriate LED. For example, if you touch on T5, it will light up LED 5, 6, and 7, etc. With the MakerBit board, you can have up to 12 touch points and 12 LEDs on your project. So you can imagine creating a large poster board with your project or a large diorama or model and then when you touch on various features it'll light up an appropriate item on your diorama or your poster board. In this video we've seen how to create interactive projects using your maker bit. In the next video we'll see how to extend these projects to include video and other multimedia. Thanks for watching.